I played football my whole life, and I had a chance to go to the next level, but I stopped in college. I've just been a competitor all my life. I'm excited to go against the bear and show people my strength. When people see me, they see tattoos, big. A lot of people get intimidated. I'm big, I'm strong, I'm powerful, I'm fast, but when it comes to the five-year-old, I can't tell a no for nothing. I'm gonna beat this bear for you. This is Man vs. Bear. I'm Brandon Tierney, welcome to Bear Mountain, Utah. <laughs> Are you good? Yes. I'm gonna take the talents no matter what. Strong as a bear? I just want to get this on record here. You find out. I know you have a couple of kids at home rooting you on. How do they motivate you? Like, she's going to go crazy. So uh, I want to see their reaction when we're watching them together. Daddy's superhero. I get it. Yes. OK. Your first challenge is called King of the Mountain. At King of the Mountain, you'll be on a platform 22 feet above the water. Your goal is to stay on the platform as long as you can. King of the Mountain looks crazy, but my style is definitely giving me an advantage of my uh, competitors. Played football all my life and basketball and ran track. As a bodyguard, I've seen some of the worst things people could do, and that's what made me fearless. There he there is. You go. Wow, here comes Bart. Bart is the most physically imposing grizzly on the mountain. And he looks ready to take on the first ever human competitor on Man vs. Bear. Yo, Big Bart coming out here. <sighs> Come on, Bart. <gasps> Bart's making his approach. Bart pounces on the rope. Cannon's knocked off his feet. Oh, heads up. Oh, he's hanging on. He's using the low center of gravity, something we saw from Chrissy last week. Big fella's hanging on. <laughs> Cadden goes for a 16th. But he was no match against Bart. That was amazing. Bart used that massive pot to swipe the rope and get Cadden 10 feet to the edge. Mama! That was crazy. Oh, I, th I thought I had it going. That, boy, that bear is strong. That bear is strong. We're heading to Apex Predator. These humans will finally know what it's like to eat like a grizzly. Let's see what they've got. The humans each have five piles of food in front of them that can be found in a grizzly bear's diet. A couple things I might order, a couple I certainly would not. Pears are worth one point. Wheatgrass is worth two points. Bears eat a lot of grass out in the wild. Turkey, worth three. Oh, yeah. Clams are worth four. And roe, also known as fish eggs, are worth five points. Pretty nasty. Uh. They will only earn points for each food pile they eat in its entirety. Tank typically clears his plate in under a minute. I gotta tell you, I think Tank's ready. Here he comes, and here we go. We're underway, Casey. Remember, the humans stop when Tank finishes his food, so they need to go all out here. Pat is digging in. Is she going for the row? Right she for the row. For the row. All three humans going right for the five point row. Whoa, smart goal. Tank devours the turkey in one bite. He's like a dog under the table at Thanksgiving. Wasting no time. Getting sloppy though. You gotta keep it on the plate. Tank's eyeballing Cannon's turkey. I wouldn't leave scraps of food around a grizzly. Chewing, chomping, trying to find a way to get this down. And Tank is finished. That's it. I see a lot of food. Left on all those plates. Ugh. Cannon, you left something on the table. Actually, it was on the ground. You never picked it up, man. It's my fault. I live by the five second rule, but I didn't see it. Cannon, a bear would have locked in on this turkey. You didn't have that sense, and it might cost you. So everything comes down to this next challenge, Grizzly Heights. For safety, They'll get a 50-yard head start, and Honey Bump will stop when they reach the tree. Otherwise, it'd be game over for real. Hey, Casey, what makes Grizzly Heights so daunting? I've had some bears come after me. Unlike this event, you should never run. If you run, then you become prey, and you know what happens to prey? It gets eaten. All right, it's Cannon's turn to flex. He's up next at Grizzly Heights. Grizzly Heights look tough. This is my last chance to make sure I get into the finals. I'm gonna use my kids as motivation to get the job done. This is do or die here for Cannon. Cannon needs to rock and roll. Cannon's gotta get all those muscles moving in one direction. And you know, the challenge for him 
Could be the tree. 240 pounds try to scale that tree. We'll see how he does it. Honey Bump's focus is locked on cannon. She is steamrolling down the track boom, here. Boom, boom, boom. She's flying. Cannon's up over one log. There's log number two. As former football stars track in the end zone, he's hyper focused on the goal at hand. He needs four points to take that last spot of human prey. This is what will make or break his stint here at Bear Mountain. He's so close to the three-point line. He better find it fast, and he does. But it's no time to celebrate. He needs one more point to move on. Oh, my God. He's insanely close to the four-point mark. Can he do it? Yes, he can. What a move. Four points for Cannon. He's earned the last spot. At Cannon, you both will be taking on Bart at our final challenge. Human prey. You will be going face to face with Bart, and the only thing separating you from Bart is a thin layer of steel. Bart will cast his enormous shadow over you. You will smell his breath. You will feel his power. This is the ultimate test of man versus bear. <sighs> Come on. The second Bart makes contact with the ball, the battle is on. Bart will smash into you, blow by blow, until you land in the crater below. Your goal? Ground and fight back. Going face to face with Bark, this gonna be crazy. But um, I gotta catch up to Sheldon, and I'm gonna hold on for dear life. But if there's anybody that, that could do it, it's gonna be me. Easy work. Cannon knows the objective. He's gotta hang on for a long time. Come on. He's gotta engage every muscle. He's got enough of them, Case. Come on. Oh, look at Bart. Coming out hot, he's hitting the ball fast. Big double bang. Oh, oh that's huge hit. Cannon going wide with his legs. Look at the strong base he's creating. That's a hell of a strategy, and it looks like it's paying off. He needs less than 30 seconds now. It's headed to the crater. He's going sideways. Oh, but gravity's got it. No, oh, the ball's into the crater. That's it. 18 oh. seconds, and that isn't even close to what he needed. There goes Bart. Mission accomplished here at Human Prey for 18 brutal seconds. I'm basically letting Bart know I wouldn't hit a play. I wouldn't, I'm not trying to look at you. Let's go and get it going. I think we both believe that Bart was motivated by your size and your aggression. You brought the best out of him. But unfortunately, in Man vs. Bear, the bear won. Please leave them out. Two strong guys, physically, mentally. Like, I thought I was strong, but nothing compared to the bear strength. But at the end of the day, Bart got the best of me. 